So what Kieran and I want to talk to you about today, what John asked us to talk to you about today, is this idea of human drive. What is it that motivates us? What is it that, that drives our behaviour, makes us do the things we do? And we need to understand that if we're going to lift our game, if we're going to take greater responsibility for the results that we produce, if we're going to take ownership of the results that our customers feel, we need to understand, A, what's driving them, but just as importantly, what's driving us. So why is it so important that we need to understand this, this notion of human drive? Well, partly because we're living in an age of unprecedented change, don't you think? Just 20 years ago, Kieran and I were the only people we knew who had email addresses. Classic early adopters, right? The only people we could send email to was to each other. <laughs> Spent the whole day going, can I borrow your pencil? Send. Did you get it? Yep. And yet, I, we now approve video content that gets emailed to our iPhones as a YouTube link. 20 years, just long enough for one generation to reach adulthood, and the world has changed in ways none of us could have predicted. And if we're going to understand that, we need to stop making people wrong. We've got to stop working with who we want them to be and start thinking about who they are. And we've started to stop fighting human nature. Now, growing up in Australia, you learn two things about swimming in the ocean. The first is always try and swim near a British backpacker. <laughs> While you might not be able to outswim a shark, hey, you probably won't have to. <laughs> the second is to always swim with the current if you get caught in a rip. To never, ever try and swim against it. If you try and swim against it, you'll go nowhere. You'll get exhausted, and without rescue, you'll probably drown. We think it's exactly the same when it comes to working with human nature. If we try and swim against it, if we try and fight it, we go nowhere. We don't achieve our goals, we get tired, we get jaded, and we give up. But that's not how we think about things, that's not how we tend to design things. We walk around pretending we're all amazing all the time, and we're not. Because here's the thing, most of the time, our survival brain still drives us. And a lot of our design and thinking is to our neocortex. Now, apologies to any real brain scientists in the room, this is pretty basic. But the neocortex is the part of the brain that loves shiny new things. It's really easily distracted. Ooh, shiny. New system, pretty. Oh, phone call, text. It's that part of the brain. And we tend to fall in love with talking to it and using our own neocortex. But here's the thing, underneath it all, the amygdala is driving us. 